Well, happy Saturday, and today's the feast of St. Thomas Aquinas. So happy feast day to all my fellow Thomases out there, you know, doctor of the church, genius guy. Um, we pray for St. Thomas Aquinas to pray for us. Uh, we ask St. Thomas Aquinas to pray for us. Uh, and today we're wrapping up on decluttering our relationships, and here's what Paul writes. I urge you, brothers and sisters, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree in what you say, and there be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and in the same purpose. So Paul is addressing some of the divisions and disunity in the Corinthian church, and he says, hey, you be united of the same mind. And Paul's not saying, hey, don't think for yourself or don't have differences of opinion, but he's saying unite around the person of Jesus Christ. And as we look at our relationships, we want to make sure, again, that we have those relationships in our life, that we are united in following Christ. And so maybe as you're discerning your relationships this week, are there people in your li life that you can be united in following Jesus? Uh, and that's why we have small groups. If so, if, if you're not in a small group, it might be maybe a call to be in a small group. But who are those people who you can be united? Not that we have to agree with everyone about everything, you know, we're, and not, certainly not that we can't have friends that are not Christ followers. God calls us to influence, but we definitely need some relationships in which we can be united in following Christ. So let's pray if, if you don't have them, let's pray you find some, and if you do, let's pray that they are strengthened. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have made us for a relationship, and that you want to have relate, us to have a relationship with other Christ followers. Please deepen those relationships. And if we don't have anyone we know that follows you or not connected, give us some relationships that we can be united in following your Son. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for participating in our daily practice. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. You can be part of our mission to love God, love others, and make disciples by sharing this video. We're grateful you're part of this community.